Hello, hello. I'm gonna wait for some people to come on, get notified in the meantime. I am going to go find Mark. He doesn't keep track of time very well, obviously. Past four and he's still not here. He's outside somewhere. So we'll go find him. Um, oh, we've got some Michigan. What's up? Well, we got some rain last night and this morning. So we've got puddles, you can see. I'm just gonna go look for Mark. He said he's out here monkeying with some liquid fertilizer. He said he was gonna be in at four, but he does not look at the time. So we're gonna take a walk to one of the sheds here. I just figured I'd go find him while you guys jump on. Yes, thank you guys. Thank you so much for 10K. And, oh, I hear him. Coincidence or not, it's our one year YouTube anniversary today. Oh, there he is. We're live. I told him I was looking for you. I'll go through the... Thank you, you love the content. Finger Lakes, New York. There he is. What is Robert called? I was doing, uh, should we show him liquid fertilizer thing or is that? I don't know. That's what I was working on. Yeah, that's I'll show I... you in the video. Yeah, you'll have to watch for one of the next videos. Yeah. KCMO. What's KCMO? I don't know. I guess I should maybe know that. Cool. I'm in Georgia, but grew up on a farm in Southern Illinois. Cool. Should we, should we go into the break room or? Oh well, yeah, that's where I was sitting. Okay. Waiting for you. <laughs> well, I was just finishing some stuff up. It's gotten cold here again. Oh, I showed him the puddles we had. Yeah. It's supposed to be cold this week. We had nice weather last week. Yeah, it, uh, it went from sunny and warm to rainy Coldy and cool. Cold and rainy. Yeah. Okay. We've got some people on. You gotta sit over, you sit over here. Okay. Is that big enough so you can see us? Can you yeah. turn sideways? Or? No, we have to do it. Oh, up just and set down. it like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. We'll just back up here. So if you guys have any questions, I'm crooked. You can uh, shoot us questions. That's what we're on for. Talk to you guys. So yesterday we uh, we put uh, some wheat in, uh, about 100, 150 acres of wheat. It was dry. Um, you barely missed. I finished it right before it started raining. So that was good. Um, other than that, it's been pretty much, you know, just waiting for fields to dry out. Mm, probably a week and a half. I'd guess before we really get going, maybe two weeks, but I'm kind of thinking like, a, you know, obviously the rest of this week is probably shot and then... Well, how much rain did we get? Uh, we got quite a bit, it looked I like. I think it was like three or four tenths. So it's it wasn't... Further south of us got about at least two inches. Yes. You guys down south, I guess, got quite a bit of rain. Down south, like southern Minnesota, not yeah. like... South to Fargo there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you regret buying the Steiger? No! The Steiger's uh, awesome. I don't know. I'm starting to get buyer's remorse on the Steiger. The 8450 went down the road yesterday. Yeah, I watched it leave my yard. It was kind of sad. It was a sad moment. Yeah, that was my tractor. I had spent many hours in that thing. And anyway, the Steiger's been giving us some... Uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Pop-up pop surprises, maybe? Yeah, some surprises, but... 
I guess it's better to fix it now than have it in the field and have a problem. But there can't be a lot left. And that's why I tell Bo, and then he goes, well, you know, there's a transmission. We haven't done that. <laughs> so. We'll see how it works this spring in the field. What's this other guy say? Congrats on hitting 10K from deep south Alabama. Jeez. Probably some nice weather down there. <laughs> Unless it's raining. I don't know what. I haven't looked at the radar today. Yeah. Let's see what else. So. Um, it's probably kind of slow for stuff to come in. So if we don't see it right away, we'll. Um, let's see. What else? Yeah. Oh, uh, I guess I haven't said it. Thanks, guys, for the uh, 10 to get us to 10,000. That's pretty awesome. Um it's uh, cool to, to hear where you guys are from and, and uh, you know, everything about you. It's, it's had a lot of really nice uh, comments and, yes, and stuff like we, that. And we haven't had any negative comments. <laughs> surprisingly. So, well, internet world can be kind of mean, so. No, you guys have been great. It's, it makes us want to do more for you, um, honestly, so. Yep. Okay, what else does we got here? We had a 8450, our first four-wheel drive. Oh, yeah. Oh, he says it's 78 down an alley, probably Alabama. Alabama, yeah. Mm -hmm. Tough. Steve, will, Steve will, our dad, will be coming in. He'll be popping in. He's busy doing something right now, but... Oh, really? He said he'll pop in mm -hmm. for a little bit. You guys never see him anymore, but... Yeah. How Let's many see. people we got on? 36. 36, yeah. So anything you guys want to ask, just type it out. It's I don't know if it's slow coming through or what, but I don't know. Um, it seems like it because like all of a sudden you'll get like boom, 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 boom. There'll be like six yeah. of them. Uh, when um, are you gonna do? I was your just third talking history? about just talking about that. I've today. been on her. I've told her like, hey, people want to see it. Get it out. Yeah, I'm almost done with it. I just keep forgetting to post it because yeah. We've been doing our other videos, but it's on the computer. So when is it going to get posted? Give them a date. Well, I don't know. It'll be soon. Hopefully this week. Wednesday? Today is or Wednesday. Or not Wednesday. Today is Wednesday. Oops. How about Friday? Friday be a good day. Yeah. Yeah. Friday. <laughs> she can do it Friday. Yeah. How many family members work on the farm? Just Mark and I and our dad. Well, and our mo our mom doesn't work on the farm, but if we don't, she so does the books. We all have our individual roles. So, um, mom takes care of all the paperwork, the um, the day to day, in and out, a lot of you know payroll and everything like that. She's very busy with. <laughs> there's a ton of paperwork. I don't want her job. Um, dad, dad is, uh, is more the numbers guy, the financial guru when it comes to that type of stuff. So he, and he's a great operator and he runs, you know, equipment and obviously we make a lot of decisions together. Um, dad and I, to, um, and, oh, and we'd, you know, we do the marketing together and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, and then I do. My role is basically the day-to-day -day and, um, uh, you know, what needs to be um, done for field work and, and input, seed, fertilizer, chemical, what gets seeded, how much gets seeded, that type of stuff. And then I guess, you know, a fair bit of the, what, you know, quite a bit of the marketing too. And then I just obviously jump in any piece of equipment that they throw me in. Yep, Stephanie's the... <laughs> The fill in. So we got a couple others here. Hold on, let me scroll up. 78. Um, I feel like it's Steve's job to stay out of the way until it's time to operate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Leave us alone, Dad. Just go, go drink coffee. My dad's the same way, he says. How big is your farm? Big enough to, big enough to keep us busy. Yes. It's. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, do you guys plant any winter wheat? No, we haven't. No, we don't plant winter wheat. Uh, used to, we didn't, haven't done it, but winter wheat used to be pretty popular up here, probably back in the 70s. 
I would say, but uh, that's, well, oats and all that too were very popular back then. There's a few people that still do it, but it's just not. Oats wise, but not, not much winter wheat, very little. Um, do you guys, okay. Okay, me. Love the context on the channel. My question is who is who in the videos? Okay. Mark and I, brother and sister. Yep. Steve is our dad. He'll come in. Steve will, Steve will his dad. Shortly. And then, uh, and then uh, Bo and Dana are our hired guys, but also, well, I don't like to just call them our hired guys. They're not, we're such, they're, we don't really call them But hired. that's technically they, their. Yeah, they work with us. They're, uh, they're kind of, they're part of the operation. But um, they're also really good friends. Bo has been, we've known Bo since we were in daycare. Yeah. So we've known much. him our whole life and him and Mark have been really good buddies. And of course I always tag along cause. Bo and I used to farm together um, out of high school. Well, a few years out of high school, we started a farm together and then, uh, yeah. And then we went our separate ways and ended up uh, farming together again. So. Whose idea was the YouTube? That was actually dad's idea. Um, but then I started it. He had the idea of doing it and got the the cameras for us and then I ran took and did it. So yeah. I like the stagger, repaint it. <laughs> yeah, we, gotta, we, gotta, a little... we gotta quit uh, working on it first and then maybe we'll have a little money left over to paint it one day. Yeah, she's a little She's uh, sucking up all her, her refurbish money with uh, repairs. Ugh. What in your Just area? Wait, Mark. In your area, is there a good amount of 4-H kids or even young kids looking to work on farms? Um, there's a there's 4-H programs. I wouldn't say they're as, you know, strong as they were. I'd say they're probably better than they were in the 90s. Um, yeah, not not a lot of uh, kids looking to work on farms. At least, not that you know, we know, that we know of. I mean, we don't get calls or stuff like that. Uh, congrats on 10K. Five inches of rain here in northeast Ohio Ooh. in the last 10 days. No field work for a while, unfortunately. Wow. Maybe, maybe, were you guys kind of dry in Ohio? Or did you need the rain? I know there's a lot of places that aren't, aren't too sad about it. Um, when are we going to start selling cups? Okay, uh, next Wednesday <laughs> I'm meeting with a merch designer to help designing all that stuff for you guys, so... Hopefully, I know I've been saying this, but hopefully sooner than later. Yeah. But it's in the works, I promise you. How about sweatshirts or anything that's, like that? That's merch. Sweatshirts. Well, I know. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, uh, baseball caps. Um, yeah. We w we wanted to do the live with Bo and Dane, but two here, that would have been pretty fun. Um, yeah, they got the week off. But they got the week off. Um we decided that before we get busy in the field, it'd be nice to give the guys the the week off to catch up and stuff at home and just, you know, be with their families a little more. And then, um, you know, and when we go on, you know, they don't feel like they got a whole bunch of stuff sitting at home waiting for them. So otherwise they'd have, they'd have been here. It, it, they wouldn't have been, they wouldn't have left yet. <laughs> Uncle Lee wants to know why you purchased a Steiger and not a John Deere. Ah, uh, well, so kind of a little bit of a, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, was it what's the terminology? Not prestige, but like, um, well, so my grandpa had one uh, and my uncle Morse on the video. Grandpa Morse had one and I remember riding in that when I was a kid. And then dad had one, a 220. Uh, when we, when I just got out of high school and then I, you know, this thing came about and I was like, yeah, and, you know, it's 300 horse and it had like new rubber on it and had a good price on it, but now we're got enough money into it. It's probably about what it's worth. <laughs> um, no, not dry. Been very wet all winter. Got about half of our fertilizer spread, but that's it. Oh, really? Okay. So you're not, they're not struggling with water or dryness anyway. Keep up with ice racing with snowmobiles, like the ups and downs. Okay. Keep up. That's pretty neat. Um. 
Yeah. Okay, I think that's... Anything... Oh. That's the bottom of it. Should we ask them any some questions? Like, you know... Um, yeah, they... there was a question I was going to ask, and then, of course, I didn't write it down, and now I forgot what it was. It was something to do with the merch design. Um, now I can't remember. What would be some things that you guys would like to see us cover or talk about? or I mean, just whatever comes to mind. Something that maybe we haven't thought of that seen this guy in here before i have uh, yeah there's gonna be a lot of congrats on 10k there's gonna be a lot of uh i have there's been a couple of you that have asked about marketing like how do you market your grain and stuff like that um i'll try do a quick um i don't know how in depth you guys want to go with that but i can touch on it and kind of explain the, the ins and outs of it. It's uh, it's a lot of, uh, <laughs> it's a lot of forward thinking and, and um, yeah, it's, it's not, you don't just call the elevator and say, yeah, I want to sell it today. At least we don't. So that's it? That's all you got to say about that? That's all I got to say <laughs> about that. I don't know. I mean, I could really get into it, but it's such a long thing. I don't want to tie up our uh, outside hobbies. Best thing you like about farming? Well, outside hobbies. I really don't have any outside hobbies. Just just, just farming. <laughs> that uh, is your hobby then. That kind of is the hobby. I guess outside hobbies would be the the tractors. You know, doing the the restoration on them and stuff. But um, we like fishing. The boys, uh, my boys and my wife love fishing and stuff like that. So we like to do that. And uh, kids are kind of young, so we don't get to really do any traveling or go anywhere that way. So Let's talk about the red thing behind you. Oh, that's just a calendar. Oh, that's just a calendar. I just... Yeah. <laughs> we should. I don't know if we should show them that calendar. Mm. How many bushels will your wet bin hold? Uh, well, we got two wet bins. One's a 20,000 bushel wet bin, it's not uh, the tall, skinnier one. And then the other one right next to it's a 33,000 bushel wet bin. So that's, you know, 53,000. Good math. Great video. I'd like to see more shop video. You guys aren't sick of seeing them working in the shop? <laughs> I think they, I mean, I think what uh, he meant is like more about the shop. Sure it is. We'll to, uh, what does it say? Sure it is. He's talking about the calendar. Oh. Have you rethought growing winter wheat, higher yield potential plus taking off spring wheat or spring workload? Um, no, the premiums aren't, aren't, what, you know, you don't get, uh, the elevators up here and everything is everything's geared towards spring wheat and uh so yeah we we get a quite a premium or you can get a premium for protein and, and stuff like that um our our winter wheat just doesn't have the the protein and and uh with the with the with the mills and stuff like that up here that's or the north dakota mill uh spring wheat is is you know where it's at Oh, look, could come in, in and come in. Look, who he's, look who's here. You got to get between us, old man. Oh, you're coming, old man. You can, <laughs> sit here, you can sit here and talk. Oh, you, you, can, you can stand behind him. You got to go to work? Well, I'll let you do the talk. <laughs> hey, don't you know him? I have to wear my glasses on if I'm going to read any of them. Go. See if you could demo the... 9RX 830. Huh. Yes, I want to. <laughs> that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Do you need help reading? <laughs> yeah, I need a lot of help. <laughs> I'll read it for Everything's you. Everything's getting blurry. I'll read it for you. Okay. Love your contest content. Best farming YouTube channel. Oh, wow. You guys, you know, to grow our channel even more, share it. Share our YouTube channel with your friends, family. 
Um, so are there you... have been any questions for me? Why did I come in here? Oh, I don't know. Because you weren't here. Oh, it takes a while. Yeah, I suppose. Um, are you mainly corn and beans and wheat? But mainly corn and beans, though, over for acreage wise, right? That was Daydream Mud, you said? <laughs> oh my gosh, Mark, I think you're gonna have to come back in here. Oh, okay. Mainly corn and beans, though, yes. Yeah, that's the majority. Does your farm grow dry navy beans? No. No. Nope. We have never. Do you live in the house attached to the shop? That would be so cool. He does. I do. And my mom. Are you in the whole video? Can they see you? Mm -hmm. I worked with a farmer that lived just west of Portland, North Dakota. His neighbors were Hogan also. Are your families related? Thanks, enjoying your channel. No. Um, no, probably not. Our family's actually, we were just talking about our heritage just last week, and it's actually really small. Or on, the Haugen, on the Haugen side. On the Haugen side, yeah. Yeah. My, yeah, my grandfather, was, grandfather was an only child, and so that kind of keeps it on the small side. Yep. I'm the only boy. Mark's um, the only boy. Mark, yeah, we just kind of hanging in there, keeping yeah. it on. <laughs> just hanging Staying in there. Staying alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, um, three of them. Yeah, no, Mark well, has three. Yeah. I don't think you guys ever really talked about why you transitioned from cattle to strictly grains. Well, this one's for you. Uh, you have to speak up, though. The CRP was done. Well, yeah, that, speak that can weigh a lot of cattle you in the them, right? late 90s. Um, was when we grew the herd the most, late 90s and through the 2000s. Um, and then we got out, and out of them in 13, 14, those two years. But there was a lot of CRP around here. Um, so that worked out real well for the uh, uh, cattle. We'd put up a lot of CRP and then um, our alfalfa, we would <clears throat> square bale that. The good, the good stuff we'd square bale and send down to the dairies in central Minnesota. Uh, or I'd use it in the TMR rations too uh, for our cattle. But um, then the, free, the uh, CRP hay was free choice for the cows and it just worked out real well. Um, and anyway, why we transitioned, we, uh, Mark came into the operation in 2013 and we, uh, we were going to run both, but then it just got to be hard. How do we do the split, the labor, the hay, the equipment? Um, and it, I just couldn't see it working. So, uh, and cattle prices were good at really good at the time. So we sold the rest of the herd off in 14 and, um, uh, and then we just focused on the grain farming and, and expanding and growing it from there, from that point. So that's kind of why. Okay, so hi, 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 hi. Okay, what's up with all the high highs? I don't know what that, oops, I don't know what that says. That's in a different language. Can you hit translate? No, that's why I tapped on, but it doesn't work. And I don't know what that says either. Shout out, please. Nadia. Hi, Nadia. <laughs> Nadia. Say, on that winter wheat question, I, I just happened to see when I got in here and I could kind of read it, but that was from Blaine. And uh, hi, Blaine. Uh, so I was surprised. I thought he'd say something about Case IH because he's a Case IH guy. Oh, I guess I didn't know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Got to know him and his dad really well. This Chris is his dad, but nice people. I really got I got to know him this winter. Super Are they nice. farmers uh, too? Or? Uh, they they used to farm. His dad did. Chris they farmed up here by New Folden. Oh okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Understand what all these. But that's where his family's from. Random things on here about this is kind of annoying. <laughs> Oh, different Blaine. Huh? It says different Blaine. It's not the Blaine you're thinking of. Oh, okay. That's... It's spelled they, the last name? They even have the same last name? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it's spelled differently. Okay. I don't know where this Blaine is from. Where are you from, Blaine? <laughs> <laughs> See how quick that responds. 
those are spam. Okay, how do you, how do I get, how do I boot that? You need to boot them. You need moder moderators to take care of that for you. Any idea how to do that, Buttercup? I don't know, have a clue, but it's quite annoying. Well, you're a bunch of yeah, spam tons stuff. of That's spam really now. Question. Trying to get people to click on it. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> North Idaho, Eastern Washington. Oh, okay. Um, North Idaho, up near Coeur d'Alene, maybe? East. You got, you got uh, your cousins live in Coeur d'Alene. Eastern. Okay, know. Leo says, northern, I think you can right-click on the right three dots and then block them. No, those, that just says share or cancel. What day corn do you plan up there? 78, right? 78 day. Mm -hmm. 78. 78 to 81. Okay, this is... Somebody tell me how to block these. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. How did the racing, sorry if you guys, I'm trying to get to the actual legit people, real people comments. So it's taking me a while to get scroll through these. How did the racing season go? Oh, uh, it went good. It was we had a few events that were canceled because of the warm, warm weather, warm winter. We do, we race on ice, um, and uh, we don't need snow, but we do need cold weather. And um, in which there was no snow all the way from here out, all the way out east this year. But uh, um, we had a, there was a few canceled, but we got in eight or nine races, I think. So it, we were ready to call it a season. It was a lot of miles traveled, but it went well. But, uh, our first year real good it was fun okay i'm gonna okay hold on you guys remove so i'm trying to go through these scammers here and get rid of them so if it pauses that's what i'm doing click the person's name okay oh they live in blaine lives in Corte d'Alene. that's we have my cousin and his wife and their kids yeah live there so that's cool. That's pretty area. Stopped through there last summer. We went through there. Hold on, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get rid of these people. Yep, I'm clicking the name. Uh... Didn't I have that last time? No. We never had this last time. I wonder why. Okay, hold on. What date do you normally start planting? Uh, we normally start on an average year, I would say, if we can get wheat, spring wheat in, um, late, late April, that's considered pretty early, but average, early May. First week. Um, first, first week of May is, is, would be normal. I'm trying to remove these people, hold on. I'm getting better. Um, so now I don't even know. <laughs> oh, it should be three dots on your side block or timeout button. Do you plant tomatoes? No. No tomatoes. In the garden. In the garden. <laughs> Too far north. Well, I suppose you'd almost need a fresh, kind of a fresh market for them. And, well, not necessarily, but we're so far from everything. Just, I don't know where we'd sell them. Oh my gosh. We wouldn't have a buyer. More spam. Okay, hold on. Yeah, it, this is, there's so much spam, I can't even. What type of, what type of racing? I live in South Georgia. Oh, it's just basically like uh, uh, <clears throat> dirt track racing or stock car racing on, a, on an oval. And we're from a three-eighths, uh, half mile, the biggest we run, but it's uh, on ice. So it, uh, they, uh, 
water the track down with tankers and just keep driving around with water when it's cold, below zero or below freezing, I should say, and, and build up to a foot and a half thick of, of solid ice. And uh, by the time the weekend's done, a lot of times where, where the main groove is, they're down into the, starting to get into the dirt and spots, so then they gotta move the track out. But that's just how aggressive the, uh, the studs and carbides are on the, on the machines. Snowmobile, snowmobile racing. Yep. And they're designed to go around, set up for corners, cornering fast. Okay, there are settings on your end to set up moderators. I'll have to look at that for next time, but in the meantime, I'm trying to get rid of these people. I live in Pennsylvania. Um, Oh, nice goodness. Area. Sorry, you guys, this is unbelievable. I might not, we might just get off because this is quite annoying. Why don't you get off and start over? I like the John Deere clock <laughs> above our case mm. tractor calendar. <laughs> Okay, should we stop this live and figure out the settings and then start again? I'm thinking so because... Oh. Okay, Kylie, how do you... You could make me a mediator and I can block. Okay, well, there's some questions on here. Did you end up getting the Magnum tractor that was parked in the trees? <laughs> No. I think they're still thinking, but not very hard. No, they're, they're not thinking. <laughs> there was a lot of run the other direction comments on that well, video. Yeah, we don't have that kind of time, I don't think. No. Do you hire seasonal truck drivers? Uh, yes, Boyd is our seasonal truck driver. But well, we do hire. And we do hire other truck. We do hire seasonal. Truck and drivers season, yeah. Will the stagger be as reliable as you think? <laughs> we hope so. By the time we get done fixing it. Yeah, it'll be like new by the time when they get done fixing it. The radiator's still being worked on right now. That should be ready pretty quick, I would think. Um, hey from Florida. Hello, hello. Um, okay. Hello. Greetings from here, Hello. Bussy. I don't know. Besides wheat, corn, and beans, are there other crops grown in your area? Yeah, a lot of a lot of grass seed stuff. Um, who asked that? That Blaine. Oh, right. Yeah, kind of like the oh, grass seed. That's the shop right here. West of you there, um, in the valley, south there, uh, bluegrass, uh, ryegrass. Oh, I just got that type of thing. There is. So, um, the, uh, yeah. We don't. We did for a couple of years, but we we don't now. But there is a lot of it around here. It, the season is a uh, cool season typically up here, so it, it grass does well. Um. Okay. I don't know this. People are being strange. Okay. I'm going to end this live. These spammers or whatever they are are getting out of control and i don't think i can do it while i'm live so i'm gonna stop this one figure this out and if i can't and then i'll jump back on um.